I'll pray for you concerning the ministry. Yes. Because when you start this thing of ministry, you were very much confused. Yes. Isn't it? It's true. And this confusion is coming back to you again. Amen. Because there's nobody here who's supporting you. Too much. Huh? It's true. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking because about. Because you've been praying against an idol in your family. Yes. Sir. Huh? Yes. Sir. There's an idol. Yes. Sir. So when I touch you here, you are going to receive. In Jesus' name. Um, my name is Vusi Ngubeni. I'm from Nkangala, Prong Spirit. Uh, I would like to confirm the tr prophecy as being the truth. Yes. Why are you saying it's true? Uh, because the prophet, the, the, apost the apostle, uh, prophesied about the idol in my family that is fighting me. So, especially these days, it's been war. So, I've been fighting against it. Yes. And, and how are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I feel good. I feel good. I know that God is watching me whilst I'm praying. I know that I feel the God, God's presence. Mm. Thank you. Let me just stand up here, Mama. They say, I don't know, this thing that is attacking your mind all the time. Huh? Yes, man of God. Something attacks your mind all the time. It's like it's going, but it comes back. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes I do. Yes, yes. Sometimes it's like you are, you are becoming crazy. Mm. Eh? It's true. Eh? It's true. And God yes. loves you. He's going to fight for you. Amen. Let me touch you here, Mama. When I touch you here, I know you are healed. You are free. Uh, my name is Mrs. Kumalo, and this is my husband. He's Royal Majesty King Mzilikas II from Bulawai. Um, Ma'am, can you please tell us? What confirmed the prophecy that you received today? Is it true? Um, the prophecy is 100% true. Uh, the man of God said I have this mental problem and it's sometimes I, I, I almost run mental. It's a problem that has been with me for almost half my life. Yes, I confirm it to be true. How was it affecting you? Um, initially, it started with headaches. I've had headaches since I was 10 years old and the headaches have pers persisted up to now. I have headaches that go on for days on end. Yes, and uh, I have blackouts. Uh, I normally have blackouts. I don't know where I am. I don't know what's happening to me. Usually it happens maybe the whole day. Yes. But today as the man of God has spoken unto you, how are you feeling? I believe I'm healed. It's the second time it's been mentioned to me. I believe it's a healing because when God uh, locates you, he has a solution for you. I believe I'm healed. Can you just come here? There was blood. There was blood that was coming out of your mouth. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. I can't hear? It's true. There was blood, but you don't know what was happening with you. Yes. Huh? Yes. And you try to drink water. I am see you try to check. Where is the problem? Eh? Yes. But since then, your whole body is sick. Yes. Is it true what I'm saying? Yes, it's true. Eh? Let me touch you here. <laughs> Put a mic in your mouth. There's a demon. Can you just help me? My name is Francine Nkos from Ivory Park 2. Yeah, the, the prophet is true because since then, I'm no longer having power. I'm always weak. I'm no longer the person that I used to be. When did that start? I think this year, since January, yeah, since I came home, I'm no longer the person that I used to be. I'm always with no power. What are the things that you couldn't do because of this problem that you were coming across in your life? I, I couldn't work in my house. I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do everything in my house. If I want to do that, I must at least drink something that will give me strength, power, yes. But how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I'm feeling much better and I believe my strength will come back and I will be healed. Where is your brother? He's in Francis Town. Because you and your brother, you are suffering. And, yes. and even the way you were groomed up. Yes. It, you were groomed up in pain. Yes. Huh? True. I want to pray for you to you are you are around to change your life. Amen. Your brother he was even thinking about drinking alcohol. True. It's not true. true. It's true. Eh? It's true. Uh, because the life is mixed up. True. I'll pray for you. 
you and your brother, God will start to bless you. Amen. And there's someone who died in your family. Yes. Eh? Yes, my two brothers. Eh? My two brothers. Your two brothers died. Yes. Now I'm seeing two here. Yes. Two died. Yes. Eh? Yes. But don't worry, God wants to lift you. Stand here, let me pray for you. You two brothers, you will make it in Jesus' name. Let, when I touch your chest there, you will make it. Uh, my name is Apostle Peluno Mirasedui from Botswana, the founder of Generation of Love Chapel International. Uh, I'm here to confirm the prophecy that I received from man of God is true. Why are you saying it's true? Uh, I have a brother, like a man of God came to me, he said, uh, you are suffering, you and your brother. You this is really true, my brother is suffering, like he's looking for a job, nothing is happening, they will promise him at the end, they end up not giving him that job. And how was this really affecting you? Uh, it's been affecting us because uh, like again a man of God said uh, there is, he sees someone died we had two brothers who passed away and uh, everyone who rises up is the one who goes so that's why even as at times we are afraid of prosperity because we know we can even pass and today as the man of God has declared freedom unto your family how are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm so blessed I'm so blessed because I know it is done suffering is done, no more suffering Amen. Words of encouragement? Uh, I would like to talk to viewers all over the world. I will say, there is charis, come for your solution. There is God here. What the man of God is saying is true. We talk about the reality here. Yeah, there is reality. Thank you. God wants to anoint you. Receive anointing. Uh, receive anointing. In Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Levang Manyapiza. I'm from Botswana. Uh, I came here today in Charis, so the man of God just picked me from the congregation and said, I, know I need to be anointed, and he laid his hands upon me, and I received unction, because the things that were not uh, going well in the ministry, there was difficulties, I was pushing, things were scattering. And how was it affecting you? This things uh, that affected me a lot, because I was coming to the point of giving up, but today, now I have re I'm revived. Uh, I have the hope to go home and to continue more with the ministry. Even you, just receive anointing. God is anointing you. God is anointing you. God is anointing you. God is anointing you. There's a demon on you. There's a dream you have dreamed. This is the demon that is causing this. Put a mic in your mouth. Put a mic in your mouth. Can you touch your stomach? Because you are... My name is Tiniko Mufamadi. I come from Tembisa. Uh, men of God just look at me and then say I have a demon. Uh, you know, uh, this week, all this week, when, when, I, when I'm sleeping, I just dream eating. Some of the things when I wake up, I don't remember but I was surprised when they prayed for me I started vomiting and then before I came uh, when I was sitting there I I was feeling a terrible headache and then my stomach was painful yeah. but after uh, vomiting those things I'm free the headache is gone and then I'm no longer feeling the pain in my stomach and how are you feeling right now I'm feeling good great I yeah. <laughs> praise the Lord <laughs> always feeling pains it's eh? true. Yeah? It's true. And uh, sometimes you feel like things are pulling. Yes, it's eh? true. And you don't know the cause. It's true. And it's like I'm standing with you. There's another lady taller than you. It's true, sir. Eh? It's true, but I can't remember who. Yes, used to be together. A lady taller than you. Yes. Eh, when you were growing up. Yes. Eh, she had this thing. Now this thing jumped on you. Okay, man of God. That is why now, what I'm saying, your life is not moving. It's true. Eh? It's true. Since you have this thing, this is the cause of your life, why you are facing stagnation. Because I'm touching you here. I see you, you are free. Okay, my name is Sunit Nezamba. I'm coming from Kalfunti. I confirm the prophecy to be 100% true. Uh, 
During this past December, I experienced pains one day when I was waking up and I felt like I was being pulled. So, since the man of God told me that I believe that it was something that has to do with my life and to be honest, in my life, things were not moving well up to now, like nothing has been moving. But after being prayed for, I'm free now. And how did this really affect you? It affected me in so many ways, my relationship, everything, like even at work, most of the things that I was facing, I could realize that this is, this has something to do with, I couldn't understand what was really happening. Yeah. And how are you feeling right now? I feel free, like I feel free, totally free. There's a dream of death. You dream someone who's dead. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And then since then your your mind is like it's affected. Yes. You feel a strange. Are you together? Yes. Eh? Yes, it's my sister. Eh? It's your it's sister. My, yes. There's a spirit of death in your family. Yes. Eh? Yes. I can hear. Why are you telling her what you're saying? Don't speak. If you speak, they will prosper. So I'm saying it so that God will open doors for you. You Amen. people will succeed this year. Amen. This is your year. Thank you. I said, this is your year. Amen. When, I'm, when I'm speaking here, both of you here, you people here, there's a demon that comes to sleep with you. Yes? Can you hear this the demon? Man. I don't know what is it she's doing in this church. Jesus. We have everything and now they, they are all prosper. free. Amen. I don't know if this thing, you know it. Can you just come up? You need to forgive. Amen. Eh? Amen. Because in your heart here, someone hurt you and it becomes a stumbling block to you. Amen. It's not true. It's true. Huh? It's true. And uh, saying it out to here because people know what is happening. Huh? Amen. And this thing has brought a demon now. Now you are in stagnation. Amen. You, are, you have been trying many things. Amen. We need to pray for your mom. You hear me? Huh? Yes, dear. Yes, dear. We need to pray. They, they want to kill your mom because of you. Uh, can you just bring out that one? They want to kill your mom because of the job that is coming to you. You hear me? Eh? Daddy? There's a job. Eh? You'll give us a testimony of a job. Aye. Eh? Eh. There are many demons here. This thing happens in your family where when you grow up you start to have a problem of the leg. It's true, my love God. Huh? It's true. Now now it's starting with you now. Yes. Sometimes you feel like there's something down there. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's even difficult when sometimes I'm driving. Oh. Walk. Sometimes it becomes difficult to walk, isn't yes. it? Yes. I separate you with the curse of the family. You are free. Please, don't be involved in anything of fighting. Amen. In your family, because people are fighting now. My God. Uh, and then, you know, these people will kill each other. 
That's my father. You, others are doing this, going there. It's as if they are fighting for a property. Yes, my God. Eh? And yes, now you don't need to be involved. You, my God. you don't need to be part of it. God will bless yes, you. My, yes, my God. You hear me? Thank you, God Jesus. is about to bless you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Gugule Tumavanyisi. I'm from um, Jobek West, Rodeport. Um, I'd like to thank God for the prophecy that came through today. Um, what uh, the man of God said, it is true that uh, sometimes my legs are very heavy and sometimes they're itching, sometimes I, I feel like I cannot move at all, they're freezing, sometimes I feel like they're stiff, sometimes like it's choking. So it happens mostly when I'm driving and it happens mostly when I'm in the, in the house and sometimes when I pray more, Sometimes if I'm in my prayer and trying to take a fasting, I will just feel my legs freezing. I don't know what could that be, but I want to thank God because today uh, God spoken over the men of God um, about this and I can see that it's a breakthrough. I want to thank God for that. How are you feeling? I think I feel well because uh, before he came to me, I was feeling sleepy and I was yawning a lot ever since this morning and I could see it's a demon, but I want to thank God because as he mentioned that it's a family case, I could see that it has went away because I'm feeling less heavy now and I'm feeling free. I want to thank God for that. Amen. Sir, can you please introduce yourself to us and also confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not? No, no thanks, woman of God. Uh, my name is VB Mabanyisi. I'm based in, in Rudaport, but I was working in, in Pumalanga, Department of Health. Uh, I'm from Limpopo, home. The, 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 the prophecy is 100% correct. Uh, why? Because uh, he's saying that uh, uh, people are fighting me uh, in all directions uh, all families they are fighting me as if they are fighting for a product so I'm, I'm aware about that uh, I used to say you, 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 you see when, 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 when people are fighting it is a demon that is causing them to fight so when they are fighting you it means that they are used by a demon to fight you because of something that we have. So I know God is revealing everything of what is happening before they happen. So I'm very much happy with the men of God, the apostle today of this uh, 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 revelation. Because I'm aware of this, re of this re revelation. So he's saying I should set myself aside out of this. Because he's saying they are, they are, they are, they are fighting amongst themselves. So I should not be part of, of, of this fight. So I, I, I want to pray to God for God to help me to pray for them so that they should not fight. Because when they fight, he's saying they should kill each other. And killing each other is not right. It's not something that is coming from God. So I thank the prophecy and I hope God will give me power to pray for them, not to be part of their conflicts or their fights. Because he's saying they're going to kill themselves. So I'm not happy about that when people kill themselves because of me. You see, he was pointing directions to say, they are fighting you this direction, that direction, that direction. You see, all directions. Yeah. So it's, you can see that all people and all uh, 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 different uh, 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 families, you see, they are fighting me as if they are fighting for a product. So I thank God for this uh, revelation. God bless you. No, I'm happy when you see something is revealed. You see, and uh, God was also talking to me, you see, about this. And I was also seeing, you see, even now I'm from somewhere like home. I was with uh, all family members from all different sides. They were there and I could see, you see, that they are fighting uh, against me. You see, they are fighting against me. They want to use me for their fights. They are fighting even amongst themselves. But then now they want to use me as a scapegoat. You see, to be part of their fights. That is why the men of God is saying, don't be part of their fights. Because they are fighting amongst themselves. And why are they fighting amongst themselves? It's because of a demon. And I used to tell them to say, a demon will always want to attack unity in a family. You see, it's a demon to cause disunity. So when there's disunity, some other family members will, 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 will 
stand that side and others that side and so on, but fighting each other because there is no unity because satan has attacked the unity and now people will be this united and they will fight amongst themselves because of that so i thank god god for this revelation and i hope god will give me power uh, to pray you see power of wisdom you see, so that i don't form part of this you see rather pray for them so that god can help them so that god can open their eyes so that the, they don't fight amongst themselves and they don't continue fighting me because you don't fight a man of, of God. That's what the Bible says. You are thinking about moving. Yes, Dad. Eh? Yes. To another place to stay somewhere. Yes, Dad. But finance is not agreeing. Eh? Yes, yes, Dad. You will move. Eh? Amen. Take it, take it. Okay, my name is Salai Lohavi and I'm from Sunchuren. Okay, um, the man of God came to me uh, while he was walking around on the aisles and he said, um, I was thinking of moving. And it's true. Um, we want to move from where we are staying because uh, my children are growing older and we want uh, more space. So it's true. And how are you feeling right now? Is the man of God has spoken unto your life? I feel very happy and I believe that uh, it's going to happen. Uh, God has heard our prayers and something's about to happen here. Yeah. Where is the lady now? She's there. Where? Can you just call her? Come. Listen, I'm calling you, sister. Don't listen to people. Eh? You hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. eh? Don't listen to people. They don't want you to separate with this lady. It's you very true. Mm. Eh? It's because true. we were supposed to get married next week. Eh? We were supposed to get married next week. But what is happening now? We lost our child in November. Eh? We lost our baby. We lost our baby. Yes. So don't listen to people. You people were supposed to marry. You are still going to be like this, always postponing. Devil wants you to separate. Even the issue of losing the baby is to separate you. Yes, we saw, we saw it. Huh? Yeah, we saw it. You saw it? Yes. So, uh, I don't know how I can say sorry on what happened to you, but I know God will console you. And I dreamed her being dead. Huh? Always I'm dreaming her being dead. No, they are searching for you. Is you can't dream yourself. They are searching for you. Yes. Because they don't want you to be with this lady. Eh? Amen. Can you see that? Yes. So the issue of dreaming her being dead is the issue of you have to say, ah, it's just the same. Even if I can have this lady, she's going to die. Yes. You understand? Yes. So stand, stand with her. You are blessed. My name is Pesi Matonsi. I'm from uh, Jobek, but uh, originally I'm from Zanini. I'm with my wife, Lewan Ramabulan. Confirm the prophecy that you received today. Yeah, the prophecy is true because what is happening in my life now, uh, actually last year November, uh, we lost our baby on the 23rd November and uh, we were planning to get married on the 2nd of February, which is next week. Yes, so we postponed the, the, the marriage because of what happened. Mm. And how was it affecting? Yeah, it's affecting me deeply because, you know, if you prepare something and then at the end of the day, you don't see what you have prepared and what you want to achieve. You know, it's a thorn in my heart. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling bad because, you know, as the, uh, the man of God said, they want me, I can confirm that a lot of things are happening to me and I can see some of the visions, so, but I'm scared to tell people.
Can you stand up? Were you carried to hospital? Yes, daddy. Huh? Yes. You were carried to hospital? Yes, daddy. Huh? Yes, daddy. But you didn't know what was happening? Yes. Because sometimes your mind does like this. Yes, daddy. You become crazy. Yes, daddy. Huh? Yes, that is true. So God is healing you. It's a craziness. In Jesus' name. You are free. Okay, my name is Sipo Sukwana. I'm from Tembisa, Ivory Tree. Uh, there is prophesied me that I have a, I've been carried to hospital, the spirit of craziness, and then I confirmed that it's true. So after that, I was delivered. Yes. Were you aware that there is this spirit that is following you? Yes, I, I was away. Yes. What was happening to you? You know, sometimes I used to stay home, not fearing to go outside, like fearing, fearing people, you know, to face each and every, like to fear, like fear engine. Yes. And how was it affecting you? It, it affected me very, very bad because I even, I, did, I, even, I didn't even finish my, my, my metric because of this thing. Yeah, but I'm not seated at home. I'm, I'm trying to you know, help myself uh, post uh, CVs and then you know, looking for a job for myself. Yeah. And as today the man of God has spoken unto you, how are you feeling? I feel happy because this thing, it was, is, it, is, is it that it was delaying me like, not to find a job? Like, so now I'm happy and free, you know. Yes. Words of encouragement to other viewers out there. A uh, word of encouragement, I can say that, you know, people that can come to Charis, there is God here in Charis. Yes. You people, you have done wrong. Lift her. Sister, you people, you have done wrong. Huh? You, you were in a group, you insulted someone. And this thing happened a long time ago. Since then, marriage is not happening to your family. Hmm? You hear me? Yes. It's hard to marry. Yes. It's not true. It's true. I'm from Tembisa at school. Uh, my name is Evidence Simulia. Yes. Confirm the prophecy. The prophecy was true. Why are you saying it's true? The uh, men of God prophesied me that I once insulted someone a long time ago. We were a group. So that is the case why I'm not married. It's hard for me to be married. Do you remember the group that you were in when, you, when which person you insulted and when? It's my brother's wife. Mm -hmm. and, and how did it come about that you insulted her? It's like they were fighting with my brother, so we ended up getting to that. And now realizing that you fighting your sister's, your brother's wife resulted to you not getting married, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very bad. Mm. And as the man of God has shown you, where to go and ask forgiveness from. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling very happy to reveal this for me mm. because I didn't know what's the reason. Mm. And what can you say to other sisters-in-law out there who don't get along with their brother's wives as you have learned a lesson that her being head is a result of you not being married. What can you say to them because I believe you're in the right position to encourage them. Uh, I can tell them to solve problems nicely, not to fight, to do it nicely. Mm. 